Hey YouTube fam. Okay, I'm finished with my nice girls don't get rich self-assessment. So here I am. I'm going to read you the question and I'm going to give you my answer. And I'm going to tell you what score I got and what it says about me and my financial health. Okay. I have a concrete financial goal toward which I am working. True. In the past year, I have attended at least one seminar or workshop related to financial planning or investment uh, falls. I carry no credit card debt from month to month. Now I don't since I paid it off. So that's true. I balance my checkbook each month. False. I have investments in my own name, whether you are married or partnered. False. I take advantage of my company's perks. True. I turn down personal loan requests to people I think aren't likely to repay them. True. I have a plan in place for how to survive financially if something catastrophic were to happen. True. I shop on the internet only when I have a specific purchase in mind. True. Even if I don't prepare them, I review tax returns before signing them. True. In addition to any retirement accounts held by my employer, I have a retirement savings account. False. I'm comfortable asking for the salary or fee I deserve. True. I advocate loud and clear for myself when I feel I'm not getting my fair share. True. I'm executing a plan to live a rich life. True. I regularly read newspapers, magazines, or articles that help me stay abreast of, of financial planning developments. True. I don't feel as if I have to match the monetary value of a gift to me by giving one of similar value. False. I know what my monthly descript uh, I'm sorry, I know what my monthly spending budget is and I stick to it. True. I have taken calculator or advice risk to maximize my financial portfolio. True. I make a profit on the products or services I provide to friends. True. At the beginning of each year, I plan my char charitable giving. True. I play the financial game to win. True. I will have no problem requesting a prenuptial agreement that will protect my excess, or I have already done so. False. I avoid shopping when I'm feeling down or blue. False. I regularly analyze my spending habits. True. When it comes to my money and investments, if something doesn't make sense to me, I ask probing questions. True. I work in a traditionally high-paying field. False. When I loan money to family or friends, I clearly state when it is due back and follow up if it's not back by that time. True. I consciously explore ways to get rich other than from my current income. True. Before getting married or living with someone, I had or would have open discussions about how we would manage money and finances. True. I don't buy things priced higher than what they're worth just because it's convenient or saves me time. True. I read the investment statements I receive each month. If you don't get any, answer false. I don't get any, so it's false. I make the maximum allowable contributions to my retirement plan each year. False, because I don't have one. I typically use all the vacation days to which I am entitled each year. True. I'm a good negotiator. True. I don't let people dissuade me from pursuing money-making plans. True. My financial well-being is among my top three priorities. True. I'm good at controlling the urge to buy something I want but don't need. False. I meet regularly with an investment advisor to keep a check on my financial health false i own my own home false 
I asked my company to pay for training programs that will enhance my earning. True. I take full advantage of all lawful deductions on my income tax. True. Okay, so that's it. That's the 42 questions. So it's a self-assessment score sheet. So once I, they wanted me to count and add up all the T's, all the trues, which when I added it up, it came out to 29 trues. Now, it's saying if it's from 0 to 21, you better get moving if you ever want to lead a financial independent life. At this rate, you're going to be poor or be dependent on others for the rest of your life. If it's from 22 to 34, you've made a good start, but you're nowhere near the finish line. Focus on those areas where you still have difficulty with becoming financially independent. You'll find that small changes make a big dividend. From 35 to 42 points, if you're not already financially independent, you're doing a great job of getting there. Continue what you're doing and use this to find some strategies for getting there even sooner. So I failed in between 22 and 34 because my trues came up to 29 trues. So I may... I, so it's saying that I've made a good start, but I'm nowhere near the finish line. Focus on those areas where you still have difficulty with becoming financial independent. You'll find that small changes pay big dividends. Okay, so now I know where I need to focus at. So this is a good assessment. So I'm tagging you, 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 and you. But it's going to be some people names that I'm going to put in the description bar below and i'm tagging them and anybody else that wants to um get on here and it's good it's, it's something good to do to see if you're on the right track and the title of this is nice girls don't get rich so it's mostly a girly thing um to do this i'm calling out the girls the girls my homies come on now i'm just playing but to do this, so um, the ones that I'm tagging is Natural Fit Nurse. You knew, you knew I was going to tag you now. And Desi Life, mm-hmm, I'm tagging you too. So those are the two that I'm going to tag by name. But the rest of you, I'm tagging you as well. And then you go and tag somebody else. Because it's something good to know. It's like getting going to the doctor, getting a checkup. Asking you all these questions about, have you ever had this? Have you ever done this? And then it comes down to, okay, this is where you're at. This, and this is, how it's, this is what you need to do to correct it. Or to feel better. Or to do better. Or to correct your health. So, financially health is right here. So, I think this assessment, I believe this is, this says. This self-assessment score um, sheet or self-assessment score question, um, self-assessment questions will help you um, kind of like see where you need to be at and what you're doing and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna put all the questions in the description, all 42 questions in the description bar below so you can take a picture of you on your phone and you can make that video reading the questions off but before you um make the video go ahead on and do it before so you can already have your true and false written down you can already have it tallied up and then you can already know where you fall at what your score is what it's saying about you and that's also the information about the score what it's saying about your score is going to be in the description bar below as well. So I am so happy and proud to be on this debt-free journey with you, 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 and, and you right there. Thank you for being a part of mine. Bye-bye.